As you probably know, homeopathy is available on the National Health Service at the moment. There are a number of hospitals and clinics that offer homeopathy and there are also GPs in their practice who offer homeopathy. And I'm a really passionate believer that homeopathy has a lot to offer the National Health Service in our current times. So for example, at GP level, many GPs prescribe acute remedies for simple, fairly self-limiting conditions and they gradually can teach their patients how to use homeopathy for themselves and for their families. And that actually means that patients don't go to the GP so often, they don't have to prescribe so many antibiotics. And there are some audits and studies from general practices that actually show that GPs who use homeopathy use far less antibiotics and they have lower prescribing costs as well. Now, another group of patients that the health service can really be helped with homeopathy is chronic patients with multiple pathologies who, through no fault of their own, are extremely expensive to the health service. Once you've got about six different conditions and you're going to see six different doctors and you've probably got a medicine list of at least 10 different tablets, it's a sort of ongoing process that just becomes more and more expensive for the health service and less and less rewarding for the patient because they don't feel well and they feel often quite frustrated that there's no doctor looking after them overall, they're just looking at little bits of them and giving them more tablets for those little bits which might then impact on the treatment or another problem that they've got. And actually homeopathy and other sorts of complementary medicine looking overall can actually sidestep that problem and we can help people reduce the amount of medication they've got, reduce the amount of repeat and sometimes unnecessary investigations that they have done and actually help them feel better in themselves overall. So I think that's another fantastic double plus. It helps the patient and it will save the health service an absolute fortune. Another way that the homeopathy can help patients within the health service is that absolutely fundamental to the process of homeopathy is the concept of self-care and making sure that you have a healthy lifestyle. Now we all know that the NHS all the time is trying to tell us to look after ourselves and eat our five a day of fruit and veg and exercise a bit and don't drink so much and give up smoking. But actually the results of those campaigns are not frightfully good because it's all taught in a slightly disjointed way and it's not linked up with the treatment for any of the conditions that patients go and see their doctor for. Whereas all of these ideas in homeopathy are actually linked to the overall philosophy and practice of homeopathy. There's a fantastic concept in homeopathy which is called an obstacle to cure. And what that means is that if you're in a situation in your life which is very difficult for you, you will never be restored to health and you can't rely on medicine to restore you to health. You actually have to do something to change the situation that you're in. And that can be like living in an unhealthy situation, not having an adequate diet, not exercising enough, but also living in a difficult emotional situation. And that can refer to situations which can be fairly toxic in somebody's workplace, or it can refer to difficult, dysfunctional things going on in your family life or with your friends. So a homeopath will automatically address those problems during a homeopathic consultation because we believe and we know that unless those subjects are addressed, then no amount of medicine is going to make any difference to the overall health of the person. And I think if everybody in the health service could adopt that approach, that would be absolutely fantastic benefit to the NHS and the health of the nation. And I'm passionate about trying to let as many people know about that as possible.